Let's start by setting up your podcast. Here you have two options. Create new podcast or import podcast using your current RSS feed from another podcast hosting provider. For the purpose of this video, we are going to assume you are creating a new podcast and focus on the fields required to create a new podcast. For now, you can use filler language and revise later. In fact, most of the details we are going to enter can be revised at a later date before your podcast is available and even after. We pre-populate the podcast title for you to help speed the process along. Your podcast title will appear on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all other podcast apps where your show is available. When forming your title, consider including common terms that relate to your topic and words your audience would be searching for to find your podcast. However, avoid adding irrelevant or unnecessary words solely to manipulate search results as this can violate podcast directory terms of service and lead to your podcast being removed. Your podcast description is your elevator pitch to your audience. Grab their attention in the top two to three sentences, describing what they can expect in each episode. With those two steps done, we're going to choose Create a New Podcast to save our work and continue to the next step. If, as mentioned previously, you have an existing podcast, you can paste your RSS feed into the field and click Import Podcast. You have two more steps to complete before this screen will update, so let's get started. Click the Settings button to configure your podcast show settings. You will need to fill in all required fields to get started, but again, can use filler language if you are just following along. Just remember to edit them before you connect your show to destinations in Step 3. You'll notice that the first two fields, title and description, have pre-populated with the information you provided on the first screen. To edit any of the show settings anytime, simply click on the gear icon and then choose the podcast icon. Next, you want to choose your show categories. These categories should reflect the content of your podcast. You are required to pick one primary category for Apple Podcasts that best aligns with your show's content but you can pick a max of two to be discovered in more than one category. Provide the owner name, an active email, and the podcast author. The owner and author can be the same person, but the author should always be the one hosting the show. The owner might be the person producing the show. Note that the email and author name are publicly available, so the email should be one that you check on a regular basis. The website field is pre-populated with your Libsyn Podcast website URL. If you already have a website you would rather use, enter that URL. If not, just leave it as is for now. Every Libsyn account gets a podcast website so that you have a link to share with your audience that doesn't require a podcast listening app. Below the website field, you'll need to enter important details about your podcast. This information helps podcast apps understand and display your show properly. Again, you might not know the final details yet, but this page will not let you save and continue without completing the required fields. Just do your best for now and return to edit later when you are more certain. Release frequency. How often you plan on releasing new episodes. Third-party content. If your podcast includes theme music, licensed content, or material created by someone else, you must have the necessary rights to use that content in the regions where your show is available. In such cases, you should select the Has Rights to Third-Party Content option. If you do not have any third-party content, you can choose the No Third-Party Content option. Type you can choose whether your podcast is episodic or serial. Episodic means that the episodes can be listened to in any order. Serial, however, means that your podcast is designed to be consumed in a specific order. Whichever you choose, you have the freedom to switch later. Explicit. This denotes whether your podcast contains any explicit content, such as profanity or adult content. Note that the explicit tag can affect your show's visibility in certain countries. Language. 
This is the primary language spoken within your podcast. Episode display limit. This sets the number of your episodes that are immediately visible within podcast apps. The default is 300. If you have imported more than 300 episodes, you can enter a higher number or simply change the value to zero, which will automatically display all of your past and present episodes. Copyright. Put in the current year for your copyright. Feedlock is a tool that protects your podcast from being duplicated and redistributed without your consent. The last step is uploading your podcast show artwork. Show art needs to be square, JPEG, minimum 1400 by 1400 pixels, and max 3000 by 3000 pixels, and under 500 kilobytes in size. Your podcast artwork should be bold and grab your audience's attention visually. The design should align with your brand, your show's art colors, look, and vibe, and the feeling you want to communicate with your podcast. You can click on the Design Artwork with Canva button. Canva provides podcast show art templates that you can customize to fit the vibe of your podcast. To edit your artwork later, click again on the Design Artwork with Canva button. You can upload your artwork by clicking on the highlighted Upload Artwork text. Below the square show art is the option to upload widescreen artwork. This is not required. Widescreen artwork is used for destinations like YouTube, where your audio file is converted into a video file. It should be 1920 by 1080 pixels and 72 DPI. So let's review. Your podcast settings are now complete. You've entered the show title, description, categories, podcast tags, and uploaded your show artwork. Click the Save button to save your changes. You'll see a pop-up in the upper right-hand corner confirming that your changes have been saved. If you get an error that a required field is not complete, just complete it knowing that you can return to revise it later. Your show settings can always be changed. It is important to note that completing your show settings for your podcast does not mean your podcast is available. Think of this as a draft state prior to uploading and publishing content.